Hello everyone and welcome to First Baptist Church of Crystal River. My name is Pastor Tim Lancey and here are the announcements for Sunday, October the 29th. I just want to remind you about the Sunday on-campus changes. Uh, both services continue to be at Victory Hall. Also, the nursery and children's area are in the parlor and the library, which is right next door uh, to Victory Hall. So it makes it easy, actually, for parents to drop off their children in the nursery and then move on to the service in Victory Hall. Uh, some of the Sunday school rooms have changed uh, because of some rearrangement. Also, the Christian school is continuing to meet in uh, Victory Hall Monday through Friday. The reconstruction efforts have begun and some work has already been accomplished. We are hoping to have most of this done by the end of December, the end of the calendar year. Uh, some of it may actually take place even prior to that. So uh, continue to pray that uh, the restoration efforts continue to go well and that we get this project done. I just want to remind you about on-campus worship services, 9.30 is the contemporary service, and then 11 o'clock is the traditional service. On-campus Sunday School for Adults meets at 8.30, 9.30, and 11. Uh, this gives everyone an opportunity to attend a Bible study class and a worship service as well. Our Wednesday night ministries continue to go well. Uh, some of them are in a slightly different location. Our children's ministry is the Awana ministry, and it meets in Victory Hall and some of the classrooms around Victory Hall. Uh, the youth are over in the youth building. Uh, the adult Bible study meets in the parlor, and the handbells continue to meet in the Unity classroom. All of those ministries began Wednesday at 6 p.m. Our adult choir practices Wednesday at 7.30, and that practice is now over in Victory Hall. The Agape House and the Food Pantry are open. We were able to get those open almost immediately uh, with minimal shutdown, so they are open to the public uh, the Agape House is open Monday and Thursday, the food pantry on Wednesday and Thursday. The Samaritan's Purse shoe boxes are available, and I've noticed that many of you have already taken uh, one of those shoe boxes and are shopping to fill that up. Uh, they're due back on November the 12th when we dedicate the shoe boxes. The end gathering is this Sunday, October the 29th, and if you're watching this before Sunday, uh, there's still an opportunity. You can call the church office, get the grocery list, uh, go shopping. Then bring your grocery bags to church with you on Sunday morning. We place them up in front by the altar, and then we have a special prayer over them. And then following the service, the food pantry will come and uh, retrieve those and take them back to the food pantry and get them ready for the Thanksgiving holiday. There is a meeting uh, about the Thanksgiving dinner, which we will have the Thanksgiving dinner uh, here at the church on Thanksgiving Day. There's a volunteers meeting coming up three weeks before Thanksgiving on Thursday, November the 2nd at 4.30. So if you're interested in volunteering, and it takes about 100 volunteers to make this happen, and normally about half of them are from our church, half are volunteers from the community. So if you'd like to Get a preview of everything that goes on and what it looks like. Uh, come to that meeting Thursday, November the 2nd at 4.30. That meeting will be in Victory Hall. And again, on Thanksgiving Day, we will have the community Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, again, you can volunteer and also you can give. It takes about $7 to feed one person. And we normally have about four or 500 people who show up. Uh, so you can do the math. So if God has blessed you and you're willing to give, uh, to this event we would greatly appreciate it our next new members class is coming up on saturday december the 2nd at 8 30 so if you're ready to join our church family you can sign up at church or you can simply call the church office if you have a prayer request we would love to be praying along with you you can send me an email at pastor tim at firstbaptistcr.org or simply call the church office at 352-795-3367 well, the year is moving rather quickly. This is the last Sunday in October, and those are the announcements for October the 29th. And until we meet again, may God bless you.